Uh, let's focus on the World Cup because, I, well, I shouldn't say that Sean. I don't. I don't think Sean Johnson is going to start, but I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility because when we saw that list and Zach Steffen's no longer on it, you're saying, okay, well, this this changes what I assumed about this spot and what I thought Greg Berhalter knew about this spot. So, who do you think then is going to be the starter in Qatar? Is it just a lock? It's Turner. Yeah, I, I think it's Turner because Greg didn't say that when he was up on the stage. Well, he can't say it. He's got to. You got to keep an open competition. Really? I mean, he insinuated Why? to At it. goalie? He I mean, said, don't right you now, want to decide that? Say, saying I'm leaning towards this is saying it. He didn't say that with the strikers. Yeah. He said that with Matt Turner. Now, the issue with Zach Steffen, Matt Turner, Sean Johnson, is that Greg's always said he wants his players to play. So here you have Matt Turner, who was playing, goes into a situation where he isn't playing. And Zach Steffen, who wasn't playing in the best setup in the world under the best coach in the world and Pep Guardiola leave that situation for the World Cup. Not for his development, not for his career. He left City for Middlesbrough for the World Cup, Seb. Do you know what that's like? This is a player who put all his eggs in one basket, all his chips in this play, and it didn't pan out with the guy who pretty much saw him grow, the guy who pretty much saw him develop as a goalkeeper, club level and now international level. So, yes, I think he's going to be all in with Matt Turner. Mm. Who's the number two for you? Not very clear for me. It's a good question. It's not clear for me either. Do you think it'll be decided in camp, or do you think he already knows? I think it's a decision to be made in camp. And it could also be made, who knows, on the fly. You know? I mean, really? You make those decisions on the fly? Well, let me ask you this. I mean, a goalie who's on the bench got to know if he's the number two or the number well, three, right? Right, but let me ask you this. You got two goalkeepers on the bench, and there's a red card penalty kick. I'm like, which one are you going to put in the game? The one is probably better at penalty kicks, right? So if I you're hadn't gonna, thought about so, that possibility, so, but yeah. So if you're going to face a team that's probably going to be, you know you're going to have more of the ball, well, you might want a goalkeeper that's going to be probably better with his feet. And vice versa, you're going to probably want, if the other team has more of the ball, and you know they're going to be shellacked, more of a shot stopper. So these come into play, especially if the, if the difference is so thin. Who would you pick as the number two? This, for me, it's clear. For you, it's clear. Yeah, for me, it's clear. Who do you think it is? It's Sean Johnson. You for me, so? if, if, if I was the I manager. I don't think it's that clear. I'm not, not saying what I think Greg Berhalter will do. If I was the manager, for why, me, why is it clear? way more confidence in Sean Johnson than Ethan Horvath. Based on Ethan Horvath has been playing very well for Lewintown. But I've seen Ethan Horvath with the national team as well, and in those situations, I've really not been impressed of late. I mean, we can go back to Nations League, but there are Listen, other Sean examples Johnson's since. Sean an impressive individual. He's an impressive uh, player. Also, can I also throw this out for Sean Johnson? Sure. Experience, man. If you look at games played, he's got way more than anybody else in the pool. Sure. At what level, though? At and I think club that level. Comes, at club and, level. And that comes into play as well. Look, I've got no argument for Sean being a number two uh, or, for, or for Ethan being a number two. Uh, if it gets to it, I think it'll be a game decision on who they play and what they can get out of it. Uh, but that's not the case here. So I I'm not too worried about that. Um, and Sean Johnson, you have a quality individual who's a very good player. Uh, and, and almost a full circle type of moment. Because yeah. if you remember Sean Johnson in Olympic qualifying, how that started. 2012 Olympic qualifying. And how he qualifying. was the goat of that Olympic mm -hmm. qualifying. To not be the good here one now. you're saying. Yeah. Right. The, yes. Uh, quite a redemption story. Uh, what about what about Slanina? Gaga Slanina? Is there a shout for him to have been included in this roster as like a young guy for the future? You know, I thought about this because we look at the Mexican roster. Yep. Here we are screaming, you know, at the mountaintops. You got to get Carlos Acevedo in because you got to start thinking about next World Cup. Well, the same could be said for Gaga Slanina. The reality is Gaga Slanina showed times, uh, lots of them in this uh, regular season at the Major League Soccer level where he wasn't quite ready, where he cost his team points. Um, and this isn't a let's let's do a charity bet on the future mm -hmm. type of gig. This is what can you do for me now? So you think that if Sean Johnson and that if uh, Ethan Horvat are in this conversation as number two, because one of them might actually play. So Greg's rewarding those guys who might actually play. All right. So let's take a look then at uh, some of the numbers for the goalies under Greg Berhalter. Of course, the three goalies that are going to Qatar: Ethan Horvath, Matt Turner. And Sean Johnson, Zach Steffen, the uh, odd man out at the goalie position as Greg Berhalter picks his three for the World Cup. There we see them, uh, Matt Turner, Zach Steffen, Ethan Horvath, and Sean Johnson. Four guys for three spots. And in the end, the guy that a lot of us had penciled in as the number one, Zach Steffen, is the guy who ends up being left off the roster. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.